Hey guys, what's up? I'm Morgan and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate all the love and the company and all of the subscribers who have been subscribing to my channel, all of the new subscribers, welcome. Uh, today's video, you guys, is basically part two of the bikini uh, sewing tutorial from a scratch, meaning you're gonna be learning how to, how to make the pattern as well as the actual bikini. And I'm gonna take you through the process of doing the pattern and the process of how to sew the um, pattern pieces up and how to put everything together. So that's what's going to happen in this tutorial. If you haven't checked out the first tutorial, it's linked up here and it's going to be linked down below as well. It's the beginner's version or beginner friendly version of how to make a bikini bottom um, tutorial. And this is the bikini bottom that we made already in the last tutorial. It's a basic bikini bottom triangle bikini bottom with elastic straps white elastic straps and i made this out of a nike t-shirt which is this t-shirt right here well the remainder of the t-shirt so this is the remainder of the t-shirt and this is the t-shirt that we're going to continue using to make the um matching bikini top for this bottom so a few of the supplies that you are going to need um is either a measuring tape and a ruler i'm using these two measuring tape or a ruler a pencil, some scissors, or a rotary um, cutter if you have this. If you don't, you can totally use the scissors and you'll be just fine. And a piece of paper to make your pattern on. This is, is this is a standard piece of paper. It's actually a sketch paper. So these are just a little bit more thick than like line paper would be. So it's a little bit more sturdy. And these are easier to store when you're storing your um, bikini patterns or even clothing patterns as well um once you start getting the hang of using the paper you can totally upgrade and start using craft papers uh, manila paper and pattern paper so that way your patterns are all on the same type of paper and you can just gradually grow from there so let me stop talking and let's get into the pattern part of this tutorial so i'm going to show you guys how to make the pattern right now okay so i don't know if i mentioned that this bikini top is going to be um the basic triangle bikini tops it's basically the you know the triangle tops that go like this where the strings just go through so you can tie it around your back and you can tie it around your neck so this is what this is going to be so right now you're going to need your ruler or your measuring tape and a pencil and this paper for this part and a lot of people were saying that they had measuring tape so i'm going to show you how to do it with the measuring tape if you don't have a straight um ruler so the first thing you want to do is make sure your paper is the horizontal way facing you and once you do that you want to take this paper and fold it in half make sure that the edges meet so you're actually getting an accurate um fold and once it's lined up you're just going to slide across and lightly press it down so you can have a crease in your paper so once you once you open up you have this very defined center of your paper the center of the paper is going to indicate that this is the center of the pattern so once we start drawing the lines for this pattern you'll understand why this is the center so the next thing you want to do is take your pencil and you want to take your measuring tape if you're using a measuring tape and i'll show you on the ruler as well but you want to take your measuring tape and you want to find the seven and a half inch mark and that is right there and you want to we well, can fold it this way fold it to where the end of the measuring tape meets that seven and a half inch line press down on that fold that is a half of seven and a half inches so when you're marking it you just want to put on your paper and don't put it on the edge you want to have a little space because you're going to be creating a curve so just bring it up just a little bit and this is the half mark right here. So you wanna mark the half. You wanna mark the seven and a half inch line, just like that. You're just putting a little dot if that's what you wanna do. And then you wanna open it all the way up, flatten it, and mark the start of the seven and a half inches so from left to right is a full seven and a half inches with the middle indicating and if you're just using measuring tape all you want to do is draw a line from the first mark whoops my nails
all the way across to seven and a half inches. That's all you want to do. So from left to right is seven and a half inches. Just make sure you keep the half part right here in the middle so that you know it's even on both sides. And the same thing with the ruler. You would just find the middle of seven and a half inches, line it up with the line, the indent here, and mark your paper. So you do the same thing. The next part, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue using the ruler. The next part you wanna do is from this line that we did from the middle, the center line, you wanna go up six inches. So from right there, that's a six inch mark. Straight down, you can barely see it on the paper because of the indent, but from top to this line is six inches. From left to right is seven and a half inches. And you can totally mark it on here if you want six inches and you can put seven point five inches just like that the next part you want to do is take your flat ruler and you want to line up the top of your six inches all the way down to the start of this one so you want to make that diagonal line and you want to meet both of those um, edges just like that. So from top to bottom is just a straight triangle. Now this part, what you wanna do is take your ruler and from this edge, from this little flat edge, you wanna line it up on the line and at the corner and you wanna mark a half an inch can't see it I don't know if you can see it on that paper I'm gonna mark a half an inch and then you also want to go in a half an inch as well so now you have this line so this is a half an inch apart just like that the reason why you do that is because now you want to take your ruler and from the inside of this line, oops, from this line, I'm going to take it until you meet the top. So it will meet just like that. The next part you want to do is do the same thing at the top. You want to take your ruler. mark a half an inch and you want to draw from the center over that half an inch just go over a half an inch and then you want to go down a half an inch So from the center, you wanna go over a half an inch and then you wanna go down a half an inch. Now for this part, you have to kind of freehand it if you don't have um, a curved ruler. This is what a curved ruler would look like. It's curved, it creates, it's much easier to do it with this than to freehand it, but you can freehand it. So I'm gonna freehand it because you might not have this. So I'll just show you how I do it freehand. So what you wanna do is take your pencil and from where you went in, From where you went in a half an inch you just want to lightly curve just lightly curve it just like that to where you meet your line again so you meet that starter line so you want to just lightly curve it like that and you want to do the same thing here so from the bottom 
you go in half an inch Like I said, this will be a lot easier with a curved ruler because this is all you would have to do. You would just mark it where that half an inch line is. You would take your ruler and it's already curved. So that's all you, <laughs> you want to do. That sounded like a lot and I'm sorry if that was hard to understand, but it's super easy. So from left to right, like I said, it's seven and a half inches from top the top down to meeting the line is six inches straight down. Then you have a half inch indent and you marked it up a half inch and over a half inch. And then you curved it lightly all the way to the top where that's over a half inch and down a half inch and you marked it in. That's literally it. The last part you want to do is curve the bottom as well. If you're freehanding this, this might take some time, but all you would do is freehand it to where it will look like this, let me show you. See, you don't wanna meet it up here. You wanna just curve it and leave it open. Just like that, just curve it and leave it open. Because once you put the bikini top together, you're gonna need this slight curve because this is where the under boob would be at and you need it to cuff the under part of your boob once you put the bikini top on. The next thing you want to do is fold your paper outward. Fold your paper outward and you want to cut along this line. You want to cut across. You want to go up, in, up, and over. And then that will be your bikini pattern. So I'm going to start mine from up here. And then when you open it up, it should look just like this. It should be square and not pointed. It should be square at the top and it should be square on the sides. So when you sew it, this is what's gonna happen. These are gonna be tucked in. This is gonna be tucked in slightly and this string is gonna come out of here and the channel, the drawstring channel is going to be here. So this is where the string would go through. So it will basically be folded in. So that's your bikini top. Now let's sew this up because this is actually the hard part. Sewing it up is super easy. Oh my God, you guys, I'm skipping too far ahead. Let's actually cut out the <laughs> pattern first. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut mines out in case you have a similar style t-shirt or if you want to try to do it kind of how I'm doing mine. So what I'm gonna do is lay the t-shirt out just like that. Gonna make sure that it is even on the bottom so that I'm getting accurate t-shirt measurements. I'm gonna smooth it out just like that. And for mine, I actually want to utilize the Nike symbol. So I'm gonna keep that intact. And again, because I'm not doing double, I'm not, um, doubling the fabric i'm only going to be using one side of it i don't actually need to have specific spots where i would cut this pattern so take your bikini pattern as you can see the nike technically fits like right over it now if i want to get the whole nike symbol in here um all i would do is you want to make sure that you create a seam allowance i forgot to mention this doesn't i didn't add seam allowance to this pattern so when you're cutting it out all you want to do is create a quarter inch seam allowance right along the edge and cut it out so don't cut it right on it just create a, half, a quarter inch sew it like that so i'll show you how to do that so i'm going to slide mine up to make sure that i have the nike symbol covered just enough to where i like it and what i'm going to do is take my rotary cutter if you don't have this again like i said you can totally use scissors if you're not comfortable just cutting it as is you can get pins and pin the fabric down so that it doesn't shift or you can honestly just use your phone 
and do one side at a time so that the pattern don't shift while you're um, using it. I'm pretty good at this, so I'm just going to freehand it. And let's pray that, you know, it turns out the right way. So, like I said, I'm gonna create a quarter inch seam allowance. Let me zoom in to see if I can get you guys a better view. What I mean by a quarter inch is, if you don't know by eye, a quarter inch is literally, let me, it's not even. See the part that you can't see, like the white part that's not showing, and this is the edge of the ruler, that's a quarter inch. So I'm gonna be cutting a quarter inch outside of this um, pattern. I don't need the ruler for that, but I'm just gonna add a quarter inch. If you're not good at using a quarter inch, you can always do a half an inch and um, work your way in until you get more comfortable with cutting. So. See that? That's about a quarter inch away from the pattern. And I'm gonna continue doing the same thing. Okay, so now that you have cut out your pattern, you're gonna take the pattern out, set it to the side for a second, and you can see how the pattern is gone. We also cut through a double layer, so we automatically have a front piece and two front pieces, one for the left boob, one for the right, okay? So you automatically have that as well. Now, the next thing as far as your bikini um, straps, we're gonna be using the t-shirt part for this as well. So what you wanna do is take your ruler, create an even line across. The strap size, um, like I said, is completely up to you, but um, I like to keep mine small because they just adjust better that way. And you wanna take that and just even out the shirt. All right, so now you can get rid of this part of the t-shirt and now you're stuck with this right here. So what you wanna do is, like I said, I like to make my straps um, smaller. So I'm going to create, let me see, an inch across. So I'm gonna do an inch. Sorry, I'm lying, not an inch inch and a half so an inch and a half across is what I'm going to be cutting out and making sure the shirt stays even So all together, you're left with three if you cut yours exactly how I did mine on the same size shirt. But um, if not, like I said, you wanna cut half, an inch and a half, that's one strap. Another inch and a half, that's two straps. And this inch and a half is going to be for the neck part. I'm just gonna even this out a little bit. So this is for the neck. This is for the back pieces. Now for the back pieces, I'm gonna split this down on the side. So now you have one very long piece. See that? You have one very, 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 very long piece. Mine, um, if you want to make this to where this can tie around your waist from the front and the back, that's why you would use two of these. You would just cut another one like that. So you have two of these and you would basically connect both of these together to make one really ridiculously long strap. For this part, just cut it in half again. But this time you wanna cut it on both sides because you're gonna need 
one for the right boob for the neck to tie around and one for the left uh, breast area to tie around so that way when you tie it around your neck you have two straps so that's the strap piece all right so now here are the pieces we're gonna be working with we're gonna be working with two pieces for the right and left breast so that's the two pieces we're gonna be using for our triangle top I'm not doubling this if you want to double this you can you basically would cut two of each so you can create a thicker fabric I'm not gonna need that because again this is super thick like it's like it's really thick and I don't need it but if you want like I say you can double it if you want you also want to need a strap to go through the channel of your shirt I'm going to be using two to make it really long so I can tie it um, multiple ways this is very exaggerated <laughs> and you're also going to be needing two straps that will have that you will need for your neckties just like that so let's get to sewing let me set up my sewing machine so I can show you guys how to sew these up okay so first things first I want to sew the straps first because this is just gonna take the longest um, so what I did was take both of the super long straps for the um, channel part of the bikini top the part that's gonna go under the bus so you can tie around your body I'm gonna take the two pieces and I'm going to match them right sides together and first I'm gonna sew across here just right across to close it off and I'm gonna be using a zigzag stitch after I sew this right across I'm just gonna go straight into again flipping these right sides together the long way and just sewing all the way down in a zigzag stitch as close as I can to the edge and then we're gonna flip them inside out so we have our draw cord so let me get to that right now because this is super long and dramatic for no reason so let me just let me just do this so that's what that'll look like you see it's just can you see it? Come on, focus. It's just a zigzag stitch across to hold both of the straps together. Now I'm going to flip them right sides together again. And now I'm gonna sew across the entire draw cord. So I'm gonna sew that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and sold all the straps. So I have two necktie straps. So these are gonna be straps that go around your neck. <laughs> and I have the long one, you know, the super, super long one for the channel that goes across here. If you want, you can go ahead and flip these inside out now. It's not necessary that you do that right now. You can totally wait um until you finish sewing the bikini top part but i'm gonna flip mine inside out so that i don't waste you guys time um also when it comes to these super long dramatic straps um the loop turner obviously is only this long so it won't be able to fit all the way through so what you can end up doing is finding that middle seam that the first seam that we did and cut a small opening Cut a small little opening right there where the stitches are you can take your loop turner and flip it inside out or you can get a safety pin and just shift it through and i think the safety pin is actually easier easier for longer pieces like this because you can just shift it and feel it and things like that so that might be easier for you see now you have a nice thin skinny strap jesus is with me right now because it took me like 35 minutes to flip these inside out especially the longest one it took me forever because the safety pin kept popping and my loop turner wasn't catching on but patience is a virtue you know but now i have it inside out flipped inside out so this is the long one now we're going to move on to sewing the actual bikini top pieces that are going to cover 
your breast area so the first one i'm going to use is the blank one um if yours are both blank just follow along um you're looking at the front the outside fabric this is the inside of the t-shirt right here you can always tell the difference because on the inside of a t-shirt the threads are flat on the outside it's just smooth kind of feels like brushed cotton first thing you want to do with your bikini top is lay it flat and make sure the outside the inside part of the t-shirt is facing upward and you're going to take this bikini bottom pattern and you're going to flip the inside the top like the this part you want to flip it in a quarter inch just like that it's a lot easier if you're a beginner sewer if you flip it in and then press it down with an iron because it'll keep the sharp edge for you to be able to use as a guide when you're using the sewing machine so you're going to do both sides like this and you can pin it as well so you can pin yours i'm not going to pin mine but you can pin it to hold it down and you're going to do the same thing to this side a quarter inch is going to go in and you're going to sew down all the way until you get to here so that's a quarter inch in you want to stop sewing when you get to that flap that edge of the flap part that's sticking out because you're going to sew this part next so just do a zigzag stitch down and a zigzag stitch down on both sides and then i'm going to come back and show you how to do this part so here's an example of what I mean by zigzag stitch it down. See, it's just all the way down until I got to that flap. I didn't sew the flap closed. I wanna leave that open because I'm gonna be folding it in and flipping it up for the next part. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do another zigzag stitch on this side. Just gonna flip it in like you did the first one. And sew down a quarter inch. Okay, so here's what you're going to end up with once both of the sides are sewn down. It's going to be sewn down this way and this way from the top. And you can see already you have that quarter inch mark up here. So that's where our strap is going to go. But before we get to the strap, what you want to do next is you see these outside little flaps, how they're already curling in. You want to take them and actually fold them in and make them... Oops. If it's too long for you, you can totally clip some, but I'm just gonna leave it. So you're gonna fold it in like that. If you have a hard time keeping your fabric straight, you can always fold them in and press them down with the iron, like I said, so you could make sure that the seams are tight and you don't mess up your um, pattern. But from this step, what you wanna do is take this, these two ends, you wanna flip them up so that way these ends match. So it's now, matching so you folded it in just like that so it'll match now you see this part that's sticking up what you want to do is not just sew this straight across i mean you can if you want but i personally have done that before and the top doesn't fit right so from here you want to take this but you want to make sure that you stretch this out just a little bit just stretch it and make sure that this seam stays at a quarter inch because it's going to have the um, it's gonna have that resistance to just fold flat and you don't want that you want to make sure you keep that curve and make sure you keep sewing this at a quarter inch so that way everything is perfect and the measurements aren't off so I'm going to sew across here in a zigzag stitch and then I'll show you how to feed this in so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other one and then I'll be back Okay, so now you can see both pieces are sewn. This is the outside piece and this is the outside piece. And if you want, you can make sure that they're even. These are very accurate. Just match the seams up. And you can see that it's the same size so you won't have uneven top pieces. The next part is super easy, you guys. We are literally almost done. What you want to do now is take your pieces, flip them to where the outside pieces are facing, and you want to find the neckties. So now we have both of the necktie pieces. I have thread everywhere. So we have both of the necktie pieces. You can, um, flip them however you which way you want because technically they're the same they're even they should be even and what you want to do here 
is you're gonna find the top of your bikini pattern and you can literally fold it. Just very small fold. Oops, I didn't mean to fold it, hold on. Take this piece. So what I'm doing here is, this is the top of the bikini pattern and this is the string. You wanna place the string directly in the middle, just like that. And all you're gonna do is tuck that in just a little bit. To where it's tight and so across this part by now you should have both bikini tops having the necktie so this is one with the necktie and this is the other with the necktie if it was too hard to sew the neckties on the sewing machine you can always sew it um, by hand because it'll be a little easier especially when tucking in the sides so you can't see so it's not wider than the straps so you can sew that by hand with just needle and thread and that will also work i honestly prefer that for you if you are a beginner and you're not really um comfortable sewing very tight close um seams together on a sewing machine so the next part literally guys is the last part and what you're going to do is if you don't have a seam i mean what is this a loop turner make sure you have a safety pin and all you're going to do is put this through both of these pieces from the inside so this is the, the inside fabric and I'm just gonna take this and put it through if I can get it through there we go so that's one and I'm going to take the other one facing it the same way on the inside so the outside fabric is facing me so push that through that one as well Got to get a little crafty for the part that we fold it just like that and then you want to take your last little um piece of tie that you did the extra long one this doesn't have to be this long i just did this because i'm hella dramatic so you know but you're gonna take this and you want to grip it oops take that why is it not acting right? Because I'm doing it the opposite way. Like that, close the little latch. And you literally just wanna feed it through both ends. There we go. I'll be back after I pull this through. 50 minutes later. So now I just wanna pull this all the way out until it's even and the both of the sides to match. This is super long, but you just wanna pull it until everything is even and you can adjust it along the way, but you can already see how it scrunches. You can scrunch it tight and you can make it wider. So I'm just gonna keep on pulling this through until I get to an even point. Okay, so that's the even line. This is where it's even at. And what you wanna do is to wrap one around so that it's in the center. So, okay, so this is the even mark. So when you open it, it's already centered in the middle. And voila, you have your very own bikini top. So I'm gonna lay it flat so you guys can see what it look, looks like exactly and how long the strings are to where you can adjust it. So let's do that. So what you're looking at here is the pattern and this is what we made from that pattern. so many strings so here are the necktie strings as you can see they're super long and here is the actual bikini top so you have the nike side which is going to cover 
the uh, left breast and this is for the right. It's just, I don't know if it's reversed on the camera, I'm not sure. And here are the super long strings. And with these strings, you can literally just tie it around the back and leave it at that and let the strings hang really long. But what I like to do with my bikini tops is tie them around the back part. So you would go around, <laughs> so many strings. <laughs> you would go around the back like that and then you would also bring it back around the front like that and you would be able to tie it So you have a tie just like that. And then with the neckties, you can just tie it around the neck or you can pull these down. I don't know if you've tried this before, but you can pull these just straight down over the shoulder and you can actually tie a little knot around it. So it will take up the tension off of your neck. So you would just tie it around that first part that goes around your back. Just tie a knot right there and let it hang. And that way it takes the tension off of your neck. That is it, you guys. That is the end of this tutorial. I don't know why it takes so long to film tutorials. I just don't like to leave out information. And I want you guys to have a full, complete system to work with from start to finish, as opposed to thinking everyone is already advanced and know how to make patterns. So these are the easier patterns. So what you can do, you guys, if you learn how to make just basic bikini patterns, you can take this and you can start manipulating these type of patterns on basic paper without having to actual go, actually go out and buy supplies. And you're just in the beginning phase. So you can use patterns like this and you can literally create new shapes and new bikini type um, top shapes and patterns just from simple little pieces of paper even if you have an idea in your head and you're like how can I do that you can literally take a piece of paper and think about how you want the bikini to lay if it's a triangle top or if it's a tube top or if it's a uh, off the shoulder top you can take these and you can start manipulating them so if this was a tube top you can just literally go straight across you can start creating um, shoulder straps that will go up here you can do a lot with basic patterns just play around with it have fun if you guys want to see a different type of bikini tutorial or swim um, suit tutorial just let me know in the comment section below um and in the meantime make sure you guys subscribe uh because that's awesome i like new subscribers um hit the like button if you like this video and yeah that's it i'll see you guys on the next one peace